Hello everyone that is watching. Uh, in my presentation, the derivation of time dilation equation related to relativity, uh, I did mention that Einstein's method of derivation was very complicated and difficult to understand. Since then, I have found a monogram uh, written by this author in which he points out the errors and explains them. So I'm going to present a few of the errors. As you may know that Einstein after he published his paper also published a book so that people would understand his derivation. I also looked through this book and basically uh, there are major errors. There are about five or six of them but we will present two of those major errors in this presentation. So watch it carefully. So here we have uh, his first uh, equation in the derivation x minus ct equals 0 and x prime minus c and t prime equals 0. This is of course uh, the moving frame and the velocity between these two is V like in Victor. Uh, that, and then he goes on to uh, take this uh, gamma as well as mu as proportionate quotients, as proportionate quotients. So if you consider that, uh, consider that x minus ct equals zero, then obviously zero equals gamma into zero and again zero equals mu into zero which uh, doesn't sound logical. Then further he also mentions that he has taken gamma as a proportionate quotient for the positive direction of the axis in which the light is traveling and uh, mu as the negative direction of the light. Uh, one cannot mix up the positive and negative together as this will be two different events and mixing them up is another big second error. Then going on from there, uh, of course we know x equals ct from the very first equation in his book and then he goes on to say that v equals x upon t or x equals vt or, or v equals b uh, c over a in the sixth equation in his derivation. This is only valid if v uh, which is the velocity uh, of the frame, uh, velocity between the two frames is equal to the to c which is the speed of light. So just in the first uh, page of his derivations there are quite a few, almost three major errors. Uh, it, is, it is interesting that uh, the scientists of his days and the physicists uh, did not pick on this and in uh, <laughs> It really is mind-boggling. Uh, but uh, as you may have seen the derivation that I gave you uh, in my previous presentation uh, sounds more logical if indeed uh, relativity or time dilatation uh, is, uh, is true. I know that there have been quite a few scientific observations made 
uh, which uh, support the theory of relativity, but I think everything should be on the table because we have not found yet, we have not found yet, uh, you know, a unified theory of everything. And I think that perhaps relativity might be one of the major obstacles besides gravity uh, in finding this theory. Those are my comments with respect to my video presentation on derivation of uh, time dilatation equation. Thank you for your attention.